Hello, all you space engineers out there. Commander Kingfish here, and it is day 23 here on the rock. I think today, well, I want to try to get a couple of things accomplished today. I think if we look at our list over here, we've got to find oil sand. That's going to be very important for us to move up to the next uh, level. And then we've got to start kind of laying out our chemical refinery now that is going to take a couple of things so we have the chemical or let's see where did, where did it go where did it go right down here so we have the chemical refinery which refines lithium niter and sulfur and it extracts pure carbon from coal so it can do the same thing as the refinery for coal. Uh, the bitum, bitumen extractor extracts crude oil from oil sand and so it needs to be kind of the first uh, production unit in line and then you have the oil cracker which then takes the crude oil and produces that into various products which part of those products need to go into the chemical refinery so I think one of the things that uh, we're gonna do is we're gonna take off and go flying again and while we still have some daylight uh, I've got this completely packed with ice and the hydrogen tanks are full uh, I'll certainly remember to turn the hydrogen tanks on this time and we're going to see how far we can get. We want to see if we can find that oil sand. And I think what I'm going to do is, is take off and flying up in that direction. And then fly along those hills up there. I know we found cobalt up there. So let's see what we can do. And see if we can find something. Here we go. That connection's removed. We'll hop back in the flying machine. Okay, uh, that's on auto already. Uh, we need to unlock this. Let's uh, turn that on. Turn that off, and let's turn our engines on. And we should be able... There we go, okay. Let's take off and see if we can find something. Now we're completely full of ice. So hopefully we're going to be able to cover a little bit of ground. And hopefully we can find some oil sand. Because that's I think that's what's holding us back right now. Let's get up into here. Oil sand. What? Are you kidding me? Honestly, I had no idea. the easiest places to get to. All right. And let's go a little farther down. How, how close are we? Okay. Yeah, it's a pretty steep slope. But... I think we can get out. Uh, okay, yeah, we're down. Uh, all right. Let's see if I can do this without messing up. Okay, that's good. That's kind of holding there. 
and three, we've got... You know what, I'm just going to put a GPS right here. Okay. GPS. New from current. Oil sand. Oop. Let's make sure we uh, do it properly. Okay. Holy smokes, I had no idea. All right, what I should do is turn this one off. All right, let's do this. Let's turn that off. Yeah, I didn't think I would find it with this drill. Oh, here we go. Yeah, we're picking it up here. So it's right in this area right here. All right, so we've got that marked. Let's return back to base so that I can formulate a plan on how best to deal with it, on how we're going to extract that. Well, I had no... That was right just shockingly out of the blue. Now the only other thing we need to find, we really need to find titanium, but this really kind of helps us to get going. And... Also notice that uh, we're using more hydrogen out of the tanks faster than it can refill, but once we stopped, it started refilling back up. So let's kind of land in here. closer this time. That's probably a little better. A little closer. There we go. All right, let's get landed. And they are ready to lock. Let's uh, turn those off. And We've already turned that off. Let's go ahead and turn that back to stockpile. And that should start filling back up. And let's... Uh... Alright. There we go. Okay. Wow. So how far away is that? It's only two kilometers. Uh, okay, well that's good. We've got that in place now. So what we need to do is start laying... All right, well first off, we can put a big old check mark by oil sand on the LCD. Let's uh, do that. Edit the text. All right, let's uh, that. Uh, I think it's one. There we go. I think that's lined up. X marks the spot, 
And oh, need one more space in there. Why I'm messing this all up? There we go. Now let's see. There, I think that's uh, in place. That looks good. Okay. So now the next step is. Like I said, we need to get things in place. So I'm thinking that I want to... Let's do this here. Uh, gee, let's bring just bring all of these down. The chemical plant, the extractor, and the oil cracker. So this one has to go in first. What I'm thinking about is, let's go to six. I'm thinking that uh, this can go right in here someplace. We'll put that there. That's the chemical refinery. And we should be able to plumb. It has yeah, one on that side and one on that side. So we can plumb that into the system. The then seven that's the I think that one has to go first uh, eight the oil cracker right so I think I think it's gonna come somewhere out right here all right so once let me uh, get back over here it also means we're going to have to deal with our power issue, too. So I've got to start laying some things out. I think what I want to do is go ahead and put in coal production. Uh, and I'll put that in up there where our power stations are. And then we can uh, haul coal in. But I think part of the problem with that is I needed... It, it, it's just not that easy. So if we go to the power production, power blocks, I have everything that I can put a coil boiler, you know, uh, boiler, uh, basic computer, heating elements, all of that. That that's easy enough to make. But in order to produce power out of that, you have to have a, a steam turbine, and that takes titanium plates. So I, until I find titanium, I can't get too far along on it. So I've got to get back to my uh, uh, wind turbines and my solar panels and kind of continue to work on that. All right. So I think what I'll do is I'll kind of start laying the base out a little bit and I'll uh, catch back up with you once I have that laid out. Okay, I am back. I've got uh, sub. I got this somewhat laid out. Uh, I had to uh, dig this out so I could plumb in the uh, chemical refinery. So that is, I've got that in place here. Uh, the output will be right there where that's connected. So once I get that built, there will be a output. And then uh, the input is going to be on this end. So I'm going to have to plumb this over to get into the oil cracker, which will be producing the various chemical products that it's needed. And so I've got that in. So I've got to plumb that in, and that's going to come out right down through here. Uh, I will have to, uh, I wanted to do, I'll do the plumbing on this once I get these built and in that way I know exactly where I need to to do uh, to actually do some uh, underground mining or you know cleaning things out so I can get the piping in and then my uh, uh, bitum I can never pronounce that bitum extractor which extracts the oil from the uh, oil sand or the crude oil 
uh, goes right here and it uh, input is right here I think it's right along here I hope I got this lined up correctly uh, but I'm pretty sure that the output will connect right into the oil cracker and so that's a little bit of an update let me kind of keep building on this and I'll uh, once I uh, get uh, more of this stuff done I will look, catch back up with you all right I think I have made some progress here so I've got uh, uh, the bitumen extractor bitumen I guess I've got the oil cracker in place and those matched up as I thought they would and the chemical plant is done so what I need to do now is plumb this in so I am going to have to I think let's see well I'm gonna have to put a uh, conveyor port here with a pipe I kind of like the looks of running it down like this instead of having pipes running all over the place uh, this kind of goes down and then plums into the piping down in here so that uh, brings into the main piping so right now we have our main refinery section which uh, once I get uh, the oil cracker and get uh, oil sand coming in I should be able to finish this off as well the uh, oil purifier because it takes uh, advanced computers and I'll have the materials to be able to build those advanced computers uh, and then I can uh, start uh, I can actually finish that solar panel it those advanced computers it's what's been holding me up and needing the materials for that so I will uh, let me get this plumbed in and then uh, we'll get that plumbed in get this up and functioning I know it's going to consume power let's see does it tell me how much power this is going to take uh, no it doesn't show me right there but I'm pretty sure that these will all consume quite a bit of power uh, hopefully uh, but we'll Hopefully we'll get enough oil sand to get the materials out of there that we can then start working on our power production uh, and then maybe get a coal uh, generating plant set up and kind of move on from there. All right, I will uh, catch back up with you once I have this thing plumbed in. Okay, I think I've got everything plumbed in here. Uh, I've got to finish uh, putting in my uh, floor but I wanted to at least be able to show you so you can see that the, the plumbing is coming in it's all green it's plumbed into the uh, chemical uh, refinery the uh, uh, you can kind of see it down through here it's coming over and plumbed in up to here to the uh, oil cracker which uh, will produce the uh, oil that is needed by the chemical factory and then this is plumbed in and I think I showed you this earlier this is plumbed in right here to the uh, extractor which uh, will uh, extract oil from the oil sand so I think one of the things I want to do now is that we still have time I want to finish at least getting this floor I may not build it all out but I'll at least get the uh, uh, grading in let me just see what I got here in my inventory uh, oh I do have enough here so let me go ahead and do this uh, get that we'll get the blocks in 
and then we kind of cover up so we're not got any safety issues here and falling through the floor all right so there's that all right again we're not gonna I'm not gonna build those out right at the moment so I think what I want to do is try to go up and get some of that oil sand so that we can get that into the queue and the other thing we're going to have to do is go and uh, get some iron and I might have to take the flying machine because the only iron that we've got is that one iron rock so I might have to take the flying machine all the way over to the frozen lake because there's an oil iron field over there and, uh, but we'll see how that goes uh, so I think what I'm going to do is try to take the cargo hauler up and see if we can't mine that oil sand. So what do I got in my inventory here? Uh, oh, I've got some stuff to get rid of. Let me uh, do this. Throw the scraps over here because this is a little more efficient. That, that, uh, those we can just throw over here. Just throw these items into here. There we go. And let's see if we've got anything in here. This is... Did I not name this? Well, I guess I didn't name them. Oh, uh, yeah, it's cargo. Duh. Uh, get over to inventory. Alright, so that is empty, empty, empty. Uh, medium, cargo, medium, cargo, medium. Control C. All right, well, let's hop in and see if we can go get some oil sand. Oh, I didn't want to do that. Oh, uh, shoot. Let's clear that out, because I'll be wondering what the hell is going on. Now we can disconnect it. There we go. All right. Let's hop into that. And let's... Uh, Take the brake off. That's already set. That was some fairly steep terrain, but we might be able to get up to it. Hopefully we're not going to run into any kind of difficulty here. Yeah, that just shocked me when, when that oil sand popped up. Let's uh, six turn that on. And... I really hope we can get up to it without too much difficulty. I still don't know why that did not... I'm sure I have drove over here. It must be a little ways up that hill. I know I've drove up that valley. Must have just just been out of the sensor range. All right, here we go. Boy, that is a steep hill. Let's get up to the top of this one. It's 
Good thing we're going to be going downhill, going back. Oh, we're hitting oil sand here. You know what? Let's, uh... Alright, let's see how we can get a little closer. This is oil sand all over up here. Alright, I think I'm going to park it right here. Ooh, uh, let me do that a little bit differently. Take that off. There we go. Okay, handbrake on. Okay, let's hop out here. Yeah, we are on a pretty good slope. But I think it's doable. Alright. Now the trick is, I need to go in at a angle. And let's pull the drill out. down and I think I'm going to use my marker up there to drill to so let's see what happens here sure we can get out of here. Okay, that's good. All right. I think if we kind of keep angling into the hillside here, we should get into the oil sand down here. start angling over this way. Getting closer to it. out of here. I don't have a jet pack. So, so, we're ever so slowly getting to the oil sand. Come on, let's hit it. There it is. We're into the oil sand. Alright, the real question is, will we be able to get out of here? Let's see. I think we can. All right. Yeah. All right. So let's go down here and we'll start mining some of this. And once, actually, once I have the cargo hauler filled up, I will uh, catch back up with you all. I don't think you want to sit here and watch me mine oil sand. So I'll be back in a bit. All 
All right, I am just coming out of the mine with my last load. Uh, my energy, and perfect timing, my energy was low. Uh, I've already filled up all the cargo bays. This is uh, my own personal inventory. Now, let's see if uh, we could get out of here without killing ourselves. Let's see, I think what I want to do now is, and I'm guessing it's going to start, but it should be all downhill, so we should be, all right. Take it slow and easy. Okay, level out here. Okay, that wasn't too awful bad. All right, we're down on the flats. Okay, we should be able to get back now. Wow. This was uh, unexpected. I was hoping to find some oil sand. I had no idea it was right there. And I, it was just, just luck. I just decided, since I had taken off the other direction, looking for it, we found the, the netter, neater. Uh, I thought, well, we'll just try the opposite direction. And sure enough, we found it. And so let's get it over here. And let's see what happens when we start throwing it into the, let's see, which way do I want to approach this? Let's go in from this direction. I think uh, we can get into it without too much problem. I know I could take some of these trees out, but it's kind of nice having them around the base. There we go. There's the... Uh, slow down. All right. Let's pull in right here. Let's uh, park it, and let's see what happens here. All right, we should be able to uh, put all of this in there, and it's making oil, and that's getting sucked in. Oh, uh, yeah, I figured it was going to be power wise is going to be a problem because everything else is needing it all right so we have it coming into there this should be uh, let's look at the inventory it is producing fuel oil carbon sulfur and polymers uh, so that's good and then let's see, the chemical plant over here. Let's see what the chemical plant is doing. Nothing. Uh, production. Or let's go to the control panel. I don't think there's anything. I thought the chemical refinery was supposed to do stuff. Uh, doesn't look like it's doing much of anything. Uh, chemical, chemical. Yeah, see, it's a... Uh, So it doesn't have 
anything under production. Inventory. There we go, inventory. I wonder what's supposed to go in there. All right, I'm gonna have to do some research on the chemical refinery, because I thought that it, let me see, let me see what it shows here. Refines lithium, niter, and sulfur, and extracts pure carbon from coal. So, oh, <clears throat> so I need this for the lithium and for the niter that we found, and it will do, uh, it will uh, uh, do sulfur, it will refine sulfur. So if we had pure sulfur, then it would, uh, those are the items we would put into here. Oh, I might have to, I might have to change my input here. I might have to put an output so that I can dump the other chemicals right directly into there. But what that should be, now let's take a look. Uh, inventory. It has produced the mass, the advanced uh, computers that we need. All right. Well, you know what? I think we're at a pretty good spot to stop today. Actually, one more thing we got to do. We need to... Uh, we could check off the chemical refinery. And let's do that. Uh, LCD. Where are you at? Edit text. And let's put a big old X right there. Actually, I want to put two spaces in there. There we go. So, we've got that finished. And I'm going to update this with some more tasks that need to be done. There's things like uh, finishing the oil purifier now. And then uh, we can get back at the solar, solar panel and get that set up. And actually, let's look at one more thing here. I think if we look at our power blocks, we might be able to start making capacitors and then we can build in some uh, that or let's see, which one was it? Is it the capacitor? Yeah, I think it's the capacitor that I want to put in and it will help charge like over on my turrets. So if I put that there and it can build up and if something should happen to the, the wind turbine in, in any kind of a battle then uh, this will help keep the wind turbine running or keep the uh, turret running until we can stave off the attack. All right. Well, I will get some more tasks put up on the board. And we made a lot of progress today. We've, we've got uh, the chemical plant. We've got... Uh, let me get the pointer out here. We've got the oil cracker in. And the extractor in. And has it uh, processed all of it? Yeah, it's processed all of it, and it's all been sucked in through the system. Excellent, excellent. So, I think with that, we're going to call it good. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, I am having fun. Uh, we've got through day 23, and we made a lot of progress. So, if you like the video, please hit that thumbs up. Please subscribe. It really helps the channel out a lot. And with that... Commander Kingfish is out of here, 
and I will see you all in the next video. Thanks for watching, everyone.